Yes, it's a, it's a difficult question to answer. Um, I think we have been very fortunate or very blessed that we are in the right places at the right time. We've uh, diversified the business ge geographically over a very wide spread. And we've also um, gone for products that still has a, a, a market. I think the one thing that we try to do differently is the whole strategic management of looking at the environment, trying to preempt the, the changes and trying to focus more where the growth is going to be. And from that perspective, we've been very lucky, if you want to use the word, that we, do, uh, that we can supply into any project, whether it's a large scale, multi-billion rand power station, or whether it's a small housing project somewhere, we can supply them all. Um, and, and that has helped us a lot. We've done some wonderful acquisitions, yes. We've, we've done a couple of acquisitions over the last four years um, in specific markets, very targeted acquisitions, and it has paid off well, yes. We, uh, we've reduced our reliance on construction quite dramatically. We are more exposed to industrial minerals now, um, supplying into very wide range from the chemical industry water purification, the steel making industry, a whole lot of industries, um, which, which also helps a lot, yes. I felt steel uh, was one of our, our customers. We've lost them. Um, it has impacted us. Um, OsloMittal is another one of our customers. Um, although they are going through a tough time, we find that they are managing the process extremely well and they are, uh, are very um, transparent with their suppliers and, and we can manage our situation accordingly and I think they will come through this much stronger than they were. We were fortunate, we, we saw uh, things coming and we managed to build our exposure down and by the time they went into business rescue, I think we had about a two million rand exposure, which is reason, uh, reasonably small in the bigger scheme of things. We've seen a major shift. Um, if we look at the components of spend, if we look at water and sanitation, we look at uh, low cost housing or human settlements as they call it, road building, we are all in all, the, all three of those segments we are at an all-time high in terms of government spend right now. Um, it is, and it is growing um, at, a, at a rate much faster than inflation over the last 10 years. Um, so from that perspective, we, we would disagree that government spend is happening. We say government spend is happening, but it has changed. It's changed from big mega projects like the power stations and Gau train and Gauteng freeways to small projects all over the country, little road projects, uh, uh, housing projects, uh, water uh, reticulation systems, that sort of thing. 